So there are approximately, what is this, 1,335,000,000 cubic kilometers of water in the Earth's ocean. We want to know which of the following expresses that number in scientific notation. So answer choice A is 1.335 multiplied by 100 multiplied by 100. Answer choice B is 1.335 multiplied by 10 to the third. Choice C is 1.335 multiplied by 10 to the sixth. Answer choice D is 1.335 multiplied by 10 to the ninth. So I can immediately rule out answer choice A because, well, that's not in scientific notation. Recall scientific notation, you have, I'm just going to write a few examples. You have some number, um, some number, Um, so the absolute value could be positive, it could be negative, but if we look at the absolute value, so if you uh, forget about it being negative, the number has to be between, it's got to be um, greater than or equal to 1, less than or equal to 10. So this would be an example of a number in scientific notation, 2.34 multiplied by 10 to the 9th, and then we're going to be multiplying by 10 to some power, so 10 to the 8th, 10 to the 9th, I could have 2.34 multiplied by 10 to the negative 7th. Again, my number could be negative, negative 4.62 multiplied by 10 to the 103rd power. Those are all examples of numbers in scientific notation. Um, answer choice A doesn't have that, you know, multiplied by 10 to a power, so I know that A is not correct. To me, the easiest way to, to do this one would be just to use your calculator. So answer choice A is not right. So if I do 1.335 multiplied by 10 raised to the power of 3, I'm going to see if that gives me, you know, 1,335,000,000. No, it only gives you 1,335. 1.335 multiplied by 10 raised to the power of 6. I think I pushed that wrong. 1.335 multiplied by 10 raised to the power of 6. Now it's getting bigger, but it's still not big enough. So 1.335 multiplied by 10 raised to the ninth. Hey, that's giving me, um, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 zeros, and then 1, 3, 3, 5. So answer choice D is the correct choice. Just to remind you, you know, suppose they said write this number in scientific notation. So just to understand scientific notation a little bit. So 1.335, I could always start adding zeros to that. That's not going to change its value at all. That's the exact same decimal. So I'm just writing a bunch of zeros. So to convert, you know, 1.335 times 10 to the 9th, that they said write that in standard notation. This exponent up here, it's positive 9. And what this tells me is it says move the decimal place 9 places to the right. So if we did that, okay, it's not there anymore. It would go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, okay, so that's why I just put a bunch of zeros, just to make sure I had enough zeros. And that's going to be, so the decimal place will be sitting right there. So if they said, write it in standard notation, hey, yeah, that's going to be exactly the original amount that we were given. So... Just a quick little refresher on how to convert from scientific notation to standard notation.